up everybody for the win attach you here you know what it is thank you all very much for tuning in the call for allies is the quest on the horde side meets warchief sylvanas windrunner at the orgrimmar embassy so this is how we're going to unlock our allied races for the horde and we will also be doing an episode for the alliance so stay tuned for that but for now let's get to it leaders of the horde i summoned you here along with one of our greatest champions because our enemies are gathering their strength the Alliance is scouring the far corners of Azeroth in search of every advantage against us. We must do the same. War is coming. We need fresh blood added to the ranks of the Horde. What say you? War Chief. The Torrent of High Mountain fought boldly alongside us in our campaign against the Burning Legion. Just as our ancestors did long ago. I have invited their leaders to a great feast in Mogor. This could be a chance to bring them to our side. A simple people, but strong. They would be a boon on the battlefield. I too have a suggestion, Warchief. The Sindori have maintained diplomatic ties with the Nightborn since we helped liberate Suramar from the Legion. The Regent Lord and I agree that our kingdoms have much in common. We believe the Nightborn would make valuable allies. Even without the Nightwell, Suramar holds vast arcane resources. A most useful arrow added to my quiver. Each option would have its uses. I believe our champion knows both these peoples. Which potential ally do you suggest we pursue first? Alrighty, that is interesting. I cannot wait to get into this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn in the quest. State your business to your war chief. And a choice of allies. Speak with Bane and Leadrin to learn more about potential allies. So let's get to it. The Nightborn. The Nightborn of Suramar spent millennia isolated behind an arcane barrier. Slowly transformed by the magic of the Nightwell, these proud noble elves now seek to reclaim their place in Azeroth. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out their spatial traits. So, Arcane Pulse, Damage, and Snares in nearby enemies. Very nice, especially in PvP. Um, we got Cantrip, Summon a Flying Book that acts as a mailbox. No! Dude, these racial traits are really cool. Magical affinity increases magical damage makes absolute sense because they are a part of the arcane energies Arcane resistance resistance to arcane damage. I mean they are full of arcane power. So why not and then ancient history increases inscription skill Well done blizzard for both the high mountain torn and the nightborn with their racial abilities Absolutely fantastic and in order to unlock the nightborn you need the achievement of insurrection which is only the patch 7.1 Suramar questing, just so you guys don't get too confused. And then Exalted with the Nightfallen, which is Exalted Rep with the Nightfallen. Um, this is the male Nightborn. Um, again, these are the Nightborns. These are the, uh, this is the faction or this is the race that came from Suramar. So all that Suramar questing, uh, you guys had a little fun with. And then this is also the female version. Very, I mean, they're very, very unique. Uh, they look like night elves, but a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit darker feel. So they got that horde in them, if you know what I mean. All right. So once you have completed your first allied recruitment, you're gonna be able to get a quest for a second ally for the cause. Greetings, champion. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and select All our will second serve one, the, horde the Nightborn Elves. In time. Let's do this. Come Turn in the forward. quest. And let's go ahead and talk to Lady Liadrin. Can wait. Fight well. The Regent Lord invited the Nightborn to Silvermoon. I am to travel to Suramar and escort Lady Thalysra to the meeting. I am counting on you both. Do not return until Suramar's strength is pledged to the Horde. As you command, Warchief. I will meet you at Lady Thalysra's estate in Suramar, Champion. All right. 
Sounds, sounds, sounds Gucci. Sounds Gucci. And what's great is I can actually uh, just hearth over there. Alright, so we're now with Lady Liadrin. Uh, first Arcanist, Talvisha. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a medic. Lady Liadrin, champion. Welcome back to Suramar. I am pleased to receive you under more pleasant circumstances. It is good to see your city free, First Arcanist. For that, we owe you both a great debt. You proved instrumental to our cause. The Horde was proud to fight by your side against the Burning Legion, my lady. I must admit, when I first learned of the Horde, I was skeptical that we would share common ground. I thought our kin from Kalimdor would make obvious allies, but their arrogance and mistrust soon proved otherwise. Arcanist Thalysra, I remember where your order stood in the War of the Ancients. How do we know you won't betray us and become the next Elisand, the next Ajara? We do not intend to be slaves to the Nightwell. We seek to drive the Legion from Suramar and put an end to Elisand's oppression. The Kaldori will fight to see the Legion defeated and the Nightwell destroyed. Beyond that, we shall see where Elune's wisdom guides us. It would seem Elune's wisdom guided her away from the bond we once shared. So be it. Aye, night elves were complete the douchebags. The Sidori are also scorned by Taranda and her prideful lot. Yet for many ages, her people slept in dens or hid in trees while my people fought to save this world. The Alliance feels too walled off. Too cloistered. My people will never endure such stagnation again. That is why I am grateful for your invitation to Silver Moon. I would like to inquire whether there could be a place for the Nightborn in your horde. Damn straight. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and pick up this quest. Right. Meet with Lady Liadrin in Shereen Silver Moon Rock. City. I will see you all there. I let's get back to chat. Lord Champion. You are most welcome. As you can see, we have an unexpected visitor. Hello again, Liadrin, champion. Lothamar, I'm here concerning a matter that might be best addressed in private. I see no need to keep secrets from allies, Illyria. In fact, some new friends of ours are just arriving. Oh, this is gonna be something I special, because Illyria Windrunner is in this one. Um, complete the scenario, remember the sound well. First Arcanist Thalysra, and honored guests, welcome to Silver Moon. It is a pleasure to visit your fine city at last. Thank you for extending the invitation, Regent Lord. Please, call me Lothamar. But where are my manners? Allow me to introduce another guest, Lady Illyria Windrunner. A hero of Silvermoon's past. An unexpected honor, Lady Windrunner. Silgren told me of your courage during the campaign on Argus. The honor is mine, First Arcanist. I do not mean to intrude upon your visit. Perhaps I should return another time. Nonsense. Whatever you came to say, you may say in front of our guests. As you wish. I come bearing an offer from High King Anduin Re I had hoped your visit was motivated by a love for Silvermoon. Instead, you come at the behest of the Alliance's Boy King. How disappointing. Cutting words, Lothamar. Are they yours, I wonder? Or has the dutiful ranger I knew become the mouthpiece of your war chief? You doubt my words, yet how can we trust your own? Do you deny that the Lords of the Void whisper to you? Did you not surrender yourself to the shadows on Argus? It seems the offer I bring has been anticipated and spurned very well. But before I leave, I have one request. It has been a thousand years since I set eyes upon the Sunwell. May I visit it once again? I advise against it. We cannot trust that she will not... Whatever she has become, Aleria is a daughter of Quelthalas. I will not deny her pilgrimage to our most sacred site. First Arcanist, you and your retinue would be welcome to join us. 
I would consider it an honor to see the sun well, Northamar. And I prefer that my friends call me Thalissra. Ramoth, kindly open the way for us. Wow. Please follow me. I was about to ask all of that on what was the Windrunner doing there because she's a Voida. Well, this is going to be absolutely hella fun. The sense of power is palpable. As potent as the Nightwell, but of a different nature. The Sunwell was corrupted by our enemies. But a Naru sacrifice purified its waters. Now, the essence of the light sustains us. The Sunwell has changed, but its beauty remains. It has been so long. Oh, wow. Stay back! What is happening? This is why I demanded that Umbric and his radicals be exiled. Anyone who treats with the void is a danger. Oh. I did not intend for my presence to... Enough! We need to cleanse this corruption before All right. the well is Good lost. job, Windrunner. You voided... Voided the sun well, man. Can't do that. Can't just void things. I wish I didn't see these four allied race class signs. Well, you got you got to enjoy that you did now. <laughs> Why? Because you haven't done them yet. Is that why? Do you have do you have a level one ten horde character? Alright, the AoE is lit. We be clearing everything today. No, because it shows me how much potential the Void Elf quest line had. <laughs> I can't believe the Void Elf quest line is not that good, because we got Void Elves in our quest line, and it's already better than the Alliance. I'm hearing it straight from the source. I do gotta admit though, I think Blizzard papers the Horde stuff a lot more than Alliance. We always get the cool, cool quest line. Wait. The vessel has been found. Alright, now we gotta kill this thing. Um, Pat, you might want to get aggro. Please. I really wish we had the Void Elves, though. I really do. I would really, I would really consider the race changing if we had them. Seeks to open a rift into the chamber. If it comes through, we may lose the sun well. I can close the rift, but I will need help. Tell us what to do, and we will lend our strength. What type of help? Opens. Yes. This should suit our needs. Wait, 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 what do I get to do? Focus your power with mine. What's going on? Sunwell is secure. Your aid was invaluable, Felisra, and yours, champion. I don't know what I did. Seize this saboteur. I will not be taken prisoner in my own homeland. Enough. You will leave at once, Illyria. Accident or no, your presence poses a danger to Quelphalas. Go back to Stormwind. Silvermoon is no longer your home. Horde kind of being douchebags right now. I feel bad. Pleasantries can wait. Alright, so return to Warchief at Orgamar. We are already completed. Wow. That was really quick compared to the High Mountain Torn, so I'll see you guys there.
Alright, so we've made it back to Lady Sylvanas Windrunner. To Gonna turn in team. the quest, get our mount, get our achievements, and welcome the Nightborn to the Horde. This is First Arcanist the Lysra of Suramar, an honor war chief. I have fought alongside both Lady Liadrin and the Regent Lord. Their courage is a credit to your Horde. Indeed, First Arcanist. The Horde embodies strength, determination, individuality traits we shall dorai value as well it is time for the nightborn to find allies among the kingdoms of azeroth if you will have us we would be proud to pledge our forces to your cause for millennia surama stood alone this day you become part of something greater i accept your oath of service thelisra Soramar stands with the Horde. For the Horde! For the Horde! And for the flippin' Forsaken. Alright, so let's go ahead. We've got our achievement, Allied Races Nightborn. We've also got the Allied Races High Mountain Torrent achievement. Let's go ahead and pick up our mount. See what this bad boy, the Nightborn Mana Saber. Looks almost identical. Okay, no. The only thing different, it looks almost identical. Alright, really? Really, Blizzard? Are you doing this to me? Where, where's my other mana saber? Come on now. It looks almost like my freaking boon saber. You, you, you killing me, fam. You killing me. But anyways, anyways, that's two achievements down, two mounts down, and last but not least, before we close off this one, don't forget the Nightborn, just like the High Mountain Torn, and just like the others for the Alliance, you can also collect a Transmogable set. And this is what the Transmogable set for the Nightborn look like for the male. Again, you have to level this race um, from level 20 to level 110. And once you've hit level 110, you'll be given this full set as a Transmogable piece. And also, here is the female section for the Nightborn. A very, very cool and unique Transmogable set. That's definitely very cool and i cannot wait to get it thank you very much for tuning in